he's just so sad, you know? The other night, I said to him, like, you know, is there anything you wanted to do or whatever? And he said, I don't want to do anything without your mother. It's so, like, um, not like him. And, and I tried to say, I said, Daddy, like, everyone's been through this. Everyone's lost people they love. And he said, well, they didn't lose someone like Babs. This was not the plan. The plan was to retire and then spend the golden years with his wife and hang out and have fun. You know, having to be her caretaker and then watch her die is, wasn't the plan. So I hope that my father can find a new plan and find as much joy in this new chapter that he can. When you go to bed at night, what, what keeps you up when you lay there and you replay like events in your life and you think, Man, I wish I had gotten the chance to... What? What is it that just burns inside well, you? We could fly a kite, a big kite. Ooh, hey! <laughs> the possibilities are endless. If you could do anything, anything in the world. Um, I was always mystified at how they milked the cow. That would be something that I've never done, but you would think would be pretty easy to do, but give that a try. This is the most geriatric bucket list I've ever heard of. I think a lot of people's bucket lists like are kind of really um, optimistic and adventurous and probably full of a lot of things that none of us will actually ever do. But dad just, you know, he's a realist. <laughs> you know, it's it's a geriatric uh, bucket list if I've ever seen one. We are going to milk a cow and fly a kite. There's gotta be a cow somewhere in Greensboro ready to be milked. Why don't we ride a bull? But let's do a mechanical. Uh, I was gonna say, dad, we're not, we're not getting on any kind of animals. Let's focus on the kite and the cow. <laughs> Got a fitting room for you. Ooh, Dad, these would be good to milk the cows in. <laughs> we're doing a bucket list, and uh, top of Dad's list was milk a cow. So. Hey, I like it. Just holler if you need anything. All right, thanks, William. Great thing. William. Yes. Question: Would any of these fit him? You guys aren't big enough. Oh, you know what? Probably so. I would love for him to have some overalls. I'm sure I can find something over here. Whitney. What? Oh, my. Are they just that long? Oh. They are that long, but we can hem them down. You're, you actually are giving granddaddy vibes. Let's give them the overalls, too. If you're going to do something geriatric for your bucket list, you at least have to do it in style. <laughs> After that last bucket list session we went through, I have put together a better list. Oh, interesting. OK. Well. <laughs> Hey. Yes, it's a yes. <laughs> it's a, absolutely a yes. I mean, Dad, it's a yes. What? The cow's gonna milk me. <laughs> it's a yes. <laughs> well, Dad, you're granddaddy now. Not only does Angie have three kids, but one of those kids has a kid. So my dad is not only now a grandfather, he's also a great grandfather. Thank you. Thanks Take a lot. Care. Nice, nice to meet nice you. you. But I will say, thank the good Lord that my dad now has three grandchildren and a great grandchild. And who knows how many more he's got out there. I don't know, but the pressure is off me. It's amazing how I went from not having any grandchildren to be a great granddaddy in I know. A, just a month or two here. Yeah. I sent Angie a text, told her what time we were going to be calling her, and she texts back and says she couldn't wait to have the conversation. So I think she's excited about it. You want me to be there too? Yeah. In fact, okay. I, maybe you and Hunter all ought to be there. Okay. What are you talking about? You got more stuff for your bucket list. Well. <sighs> Let me see. Visit the Grand Canyon. I approve. Visit Niagara Falls. Approve. A scary roller coaster ride. <laughs> what about your heart condition? Oh, that doesn't have anything to do with being on a roller coaster ride. Okay, roller coaster. My dad is 77, but I think he's doing pretty well for his age. I do have some concerns because he had like a total heart valve repair about 10 or 11 years ago. 
So I don't know what the state of his heart murmur is, but I feel like we should just take it easy for now. NASCAR experience. They actually have a uh, race car that you rent. Good. You drive? Yeah, yeah. No. At no. 150 miles an hour. No. All right, hot air balloon. I think I would do that too. All right, now this last one, I'm gonna have to veto. Skydive? <laughs> you, you really literally wanna jump out of a plane. You would not. Well, President Bush jumped out of a plane. Yeah, we're not GW anymore, we're GT. <laughs> You're going the opposite direction. A bucket list means anything that you wanna do, regardless of whether it's feasible or not. Okay, you wanna come down and try, give it a try? Yeah, I think we're gonna need some uh, instructions. Well, this is Nelson and Ben down here. They can help you out. Nice to meet you, Ben. Nice to meet you. Nelson. 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 Yes, sir. Okay. Do it. Okay. <laughs> All right, now be gentle with her. Give you a bucket. Yeah, I'll say just rub her a little bit, let her know you're there. Just rub her a little bit. <laughs> Wild. So what you wanna do, you come down here and you grab one udder, and it's not just a pull down motion, it's sort of a squeeze and pull down motion. That seems pretty simple, but I bet I won't be able to do it. Well, I've, <laughs> I've done it plenty of times, so it, it won't be too sure, hard. She'll be able to do it. I'm not doing it good. Give it a little tug. Yeah, so squeeze and pull down a little bit. <laughs> well, you take the udder and you squeeze it. And then you lift the udder back up and then you squeeze it again and the milk comes out. You know, the first time or two you got a pretty good squirt and then all of a sudden you wouldn't get anything and you realized you, you know, your technique was off a little bit. But um, at least we got a few squirts out of it. <laughs> well, I can see that this would be a chore if you had more than a couple of these to do a night. It definitely would be. How long would it take you to, to milk her by hand, like as much as you'd need to milk her? At least 30 minutes. Yeah. Well, at this rate, in three hours, we can all have one glass of milk. Yeah. yeah. How much milk does she have in her right now? Probably a couple uh, of gallons. A couple, couple of gallons? Of gallons. Yeah. Walking yeah. around with that? Ah. Oh, 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 uh oh. oh. Well, she says she was finished with that. <laughs> <laughs> well, that almost gave me a heart attack. Never in a million years did I think that the first thing on my bucket list would end up with me kicking the bucket. Oh, I'm scared. Do I need to show you how Daddy, to do it? Hush. Hush. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> and you don't have to pull very hard. Oh, thank you, girl. <laughs> All right, you want to jump? You want to do it, huh? I'll give it a shot. Oh, oh. that's good. Look, he's just a natural. Oh, he's done this before. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've been secretly living on a farm. <laughs> You're hired. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder where he learned that technique. I don't know and I don't need to. <laughs> Thank you, Cal. I will treasure this experience. <laughs> <laughs> well, Dad, how do you feel that now that you've knocked number one off your bucket list? <laughs> well, <clears throat> it was interesting and, uh, and it was a lot of fun. Well, if you need any pointers, <laughs> just let me know. <laughs> you definitely took the cake on that milk. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right, you got this. Go God, ahead. I was about to be so mad, I was like, when I thought I wasn't going to be able to do it, I was pissed. Oh, yeah. All right, let's get <laughs> All right, Dad. Pull out all your tricks. <laughs> Go, Dad! Look at Dad, a badass. Oh, he's doing his little breathing. That's our dad. I know. Are you crying? <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> I gotta send this to Angie. She will not believe. I know. Oh my lord. I think we ought to bring dad back here. I think this just gave him life. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, Angie texted. <laughs> she said, oh, that is so awesome. I wish I was there. Mm. I am so glad that I decided to go on this little bucket list adventure with Whitney. I'm really starting to enjoy this new chapter in my life. Tipping the hat, like, he won it, hands down. This is my bucket list, is it not? <laughs> if I had to pick a place. Anywhere in the world, Dad. Think of all the Denmark, natural wonders. It could, be... it could be the Northern Lights. It could be the Great Pyramids. It could be the Great Wall of China. We could go searching for Atlantis. Where is it that your heart is calling you? Well, <clears throat> I have to say that the presentations uh, were creative. Thank you. And uh, compelling. But <clears throat> I'm going to pick Switzerland. What's in Switzerland? There's a die cutter that's produced in Switzerland. What is, what is a, a die, die cutter? cutter? Well, it's a very important piece of equipment that we used in the business that I've been in for the last 50 years. And whenever you print something, uh, it usually has to have uh, another step that's called die cutting. There's a shape involved, whether it's a rectangular or shape or whatever shape it might be. It's sort of like uh, when you take and do cookie cuts out of dough, all different shapes. So you want to take us to see a piece of printing equipment. Well, I've seen pictures of Switzerland. It's beautiful. Yes, he it wants is. To go see a printing press. A, a, a printing press. <laughs> okay. Well, dad, it, it'll it, be it, time it's... to see other things while we're there. I have always known that my dad truly loved his job in the printing industry, and that he's always felt like he never worked a day in his life. But like. When he finally retired, just because of my mom having a big stroke, I, I thought he could like move on in life. Is he actually this much of a printing nerd? And this would be a nice vacation for you and Hunter and myself. Poor Lenny, he don't even want to ask if he's going to get to come. Oh, uh, well, I heard it was a family event. And besides, someone's got to stay home and take care of Kyle. Oh yeah, Kyle here. <laughs> Thor travel and more will be my company name if anyone needs vacation bookings because I am really turning into a travel agent myself. The thing I have not done, because I was going to leave that up to you, is I have not looked at that printing plate. I mean, the whole reason that we're going. Oh, well, the salesperson that is arranging the tour for us said that. I didn't know we were having a tour. We're, doing, we're getting a tour? Well, he's. Like a private tour? I'm looking forward to this private tour of the BOPS facility, primarily to go see a die cutter. What makes this die cutter in particular unlike any other die cutter in the world? It's the die cutter of choice for uh, most of all the printing companies. Their reputation and the expertise really puts them head and shoulders a bit above any of their competition. And it's just a machine that cuts out shapes. Exactly. OK, I'm going to be honest with you. I was expecting it to be something more exciting than that. <laughs> well. <laughs> When's the last time that you had something in your hands that was not 
didn't have a shape to it oh, that was printed. I don't think that's appropriate to speak about. <laughs> but the guy at the Bops factory is only going to allow me and one other guest to do this tour. Well, that's fine. I mean, I don't think anybody else besides us really cares about it anyway. Well, I, if I can only take one person, then I'm going to have a dilemma. How is that a dilemma? Well, I, I'd have to choose Having either a... you or Hunter or my new daughter, Angie. She won't be able to go. She's there. actually your oldest daughter. She's your old daughter. So, I'm, your, I'm your new daughter. She's the <laughs> old daughter. So, um, anyhow. <clears throat> Dad, what? Well, what will happen if Hunter finds out that he hasn't been... Hunter don't care about no print and press. Hunter wants to be with Ryan and Cody getting served beer by some woman named Heidi. That's what Hunter wants. He'll be the first one to say, how did you choose Whitney to do this? Because I'm the one that's been behind this whole thing. Well, that's still not a good reason for him not to be included. So. I guess it's like a big deal over there at the Bob's factory. Part of me wants to be like, well, but I'm going right. <laughs> like, I feel like I should go personally. Of course I do. I'm the one who said you had to have a bucket list to begin with. I'm the one who encouraged you to put a trip on there. I'm the one who's doing the binders. I'm the one who's planning everything else. They're just going to show us how they Well, quit saying us if it's not going to be me. Well. Here he comes. I just saw his white hair. <laughs> How fast did you go? I didn't get on the brakes. Jamie's slow. Like, look, look at that. Yeah, she's Took you forever to get over here. Damn. Turtle. Oh, here comes the here excuses. Comes the excuses, stop. yeah. That's the way Just like the canoe, yeah. like, excuses. But know. Whitney was right behind you. No, she wasn't. She's right there. What the hell happened? I've been coming. <laughs> Don't let her, oh. don't let her. <laughs> Here oh, you Here's right. the ghost. <laughs> I got this. I know how to do it. Wait, how do I stop you, it? You just, I think you just get no, off. No, no, oh, no. I <laughs> <laughs> you really was about to go under there. That's not clear, the instructions. Here comes Dad just slow poking along. Dad was definitely the slow. Dad. <laughs> I thought Dad, you seemed pretty slow to me. Dad, Dad, trust me, Dad's slow. Dad's definition of, of tobogganing is leisure. Yeah. The mountain coaster was meant to like be a slow acceleration into the adventure, but you went a little too slow. Well, <laughs> it's a lot like life. You know, the journey is sometimes more important than the end. So well, you didn't get to the end, Dad. You're still on the coaster. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we going? To the top? I have no idea. Hey, dumb and dumber. Y'all listen. Excuse me? You take a train ride all the way to the top of the glacier. Okay, I think I mean, this well, train's gonna be a little sketchy. And it's like over 100 years old, I think. So, yeah, I'm a little nervous on that deal, but. If for some reason <laughs> no, you I, yeah, no. can't go to box, <laughs> I'll, I'll take your yeah, place. Yeah, I, I bet you would. Hey, the train. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'll wake you up. <laughs> Are you awake now? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome on board. Enjoy the next video for you. I'm just saying it's picking up. Like, I feel like I'm about to slide out my seat. Oh, we're going on a roller coaster. <laughs> <laughs> we're going back. Yeah. I think we should call and check on Whitney. Do it, CAO. Hopefully, I have signal. Hey. Hi. How are you? You okay? She's on the gondola. You coming up? There's no signal. She's on the what? She's coming up, I think. She looked like she was on the gondola. Well, that's good. I don't know if my headache has really improved and I feel well enough to go up to the top of this mountain or if I'm just telling myself that I do, but I do not want to miss this. So I hope that I feel well enough to get on the train. Everybody, everybody have their tickets? You got your jacket, you got your purse, you got everything. Welcome to the top of Europe. If we ever make it up. <laughs> uh -oh. Take your time, y'all, take your time. Yeah, go slow, dig your feet in. Yeah, like really, just get a good grip. You still okay <gasps> on your breathing? Yeah. Are you? you You're not dizzy? Stop. Okay, it's not easy to go to the top of Europe, is it? 
I didn't expect this alpine venture to be the climbing expedition that it is, but the old Marine in me is not gonna give up without a fight. I mean, I think we're pretty badass, if you, uh, if you ask me. We just hiked this whole you. mountain. Yeah. This is beautiful. Being on the top of Europe and looking out is absolutely incredible. This is a, a truly special planet that we live on. Mom, you and Glenn take a picture together. All right, come on. Be careful around that edge. Stop right yeah, there. There's not that many pictures. Yeah, don't get too close. Me and <laughs> it's always Glenn and Whitney, so yeah. <laughs> Whitney's always hogging the pictures. Oh. Selfies. <laughs> Um, all right, Whitney should be here any minute, so. Where is she? She sent me a text. She was getting off the train. Well, with her headache, I'm not sure she'll make this last leg. Yeah. I know. You know you got to tell Whitney about not being picked to go to the Pops factory. No, I'm not telling Whitney. You're telling Whitney. After she finds out that I've chosen you over her, I'm not she sure how she's going to take that. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> but it's OK. You can always come stay with me and Shannon. You know that. You, you I always have, have a. I might have to take you up on that. I, I do have an extra room. <laughs> I have a room for Maddie, and we'll let you have Jamie's room. <laughs> for Glenn to come live with me in Alabama would be a dream. And it would take a lot of pressure off of Whitney. And then she can rest for a minute. Go have fun. Live your life a little bit. I got, I got Glenn. Whitney made it! Look! Hey, come on, Whitney! Hey. 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 Woo! Come on, Whitney! She doesn't even have her jacket on. During the gondola ride, I was thinking it was a good decision. I was feeling okay. My head was feeling better. But my headache is the worst it has been all day. It is pounding. I am miserable. But now I'm kind of stuck up here, so I might as well try to make it up to the top. Whitney, I can't believe you're doing this. I know. You are a trooper girl. You, uh, you definitely wanted to see it. She dropped her jacket. It's just my head. I bet altitude's making it worse. Yeah. I feel like I have just climbed Everest, OK? <laughs> like, I know I took like 15 steps to get here. <laughs> but I feel like I've just gotten to the top of the world, and I'm glad I'm here. Oh, my gosh. That's beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. Well, I'm glad you put this on the itinerary. Beautiful. You feel so small when you're up this high and you can see this expansive view of the Alps. And I have triumphed over my illness. And Alabama family has courageously explored uncharted territory. One, two, three. Oh, I mean, I know it's just the top of Europe that we're at, but don't you feel like we're on top of the world? Oh, yeah. I mean, especially for them. I mean, leaving Alabama, which is relatively flat, going to the <laughs> highest place in the in Europe. Yes, it feels awesome. Do one without your mask, Whit. No, Dad. I'm not joking that. Hey, Whitney. What? Now that we're up here, Angie has something she wants to tell you. What's that? I don't have. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, no. oh, I can't believe Angie is backing out of this. Well, Whitney? Yes? I've made a decision on who goes to Bops with me. Angie's going. <laughs> Congratulations. Happy for you. I think she's secretly mad, but actually like she's not. I don't care. I think if she felt better, she'd be mad. Hey, Angie. Whatever. What a lovely day <laughs> to be reminded that you're second best. Yeah. It is Angie's big day to go with Dad to the Bob's factory. I have never felt like I'm not the favorite child really in my life, and I'm feeling it now. I am at the bottom of the hierarchy. I have a lot of things planned for when y'all get back, some Swiss adventures. Oh, yeah. And I just want to make sure that you feel confident about what you're going to do. Because once you go to Bops <laughs> and you leave us behind, uh -oh. you could possibly be returning to an altered family dynamic. Mm. <laughs> he's good. He's well, good. I'm just saying, he's good. 
Ultimately, the most important factor in my decision is to spend some quality time with Angie and get to know her at a deeper level. I know if I'd chosen Whitney, she would try to uh, control everything. So maybe this is a good way for me to enjoy this uh, trip to the factory without her hovering. Get out of my sight. <laughs> Look at them matching like... Like Easter eggs. Easter eggs, so they can easily find each other. Bye! Alf Peterson, enjoyed it. Did she just flick me off? Oh, she flipped you off. You know what? I hoped that the goal of this vacation would be that we would grow closer together as a family. And now that Angie has the audacity to give us the finger. I mean, who is this bitch? I think that we've reached uh, maximum <laughs> comfort level achieved. Yeah, we're, we're definitely related. Yeah, she better watch out. I want to see you just straight run and tackle Angie. Flatten her like a pancake. Just linebacker that We're going somewhere cool, man. <laughs> Come on, let's go. We are going to get family tattoos. My dad has agreed to come, which I cannot believe because that's still some sort of level of approval to the rest of us getting tattoos. And I know he won't actually get one, but the fact that he's going to share this experience with us will be enough for me to sustain me for the rest of my life. Lord Jesus, here they are. <laughs> Hi. Okay, well, here we go. I thought I was gonna be done with my tattoo before they got here, but um, yeah. So you got this, the renderings I sent? Yes. Okay. The tattoo that we have planned is like a figure eight knot and Angie picked it out and she says that it's the tie that binds our family together. What size are you getting? I ain't getting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking if dad really uh, bears witness to the whole thing, we might change his mind, but. Well, y'all ain't left yet. Well, okay, that's true. <laughs> He's still here. <laughs> Literally everything else possible in life is more likely to happen than Glenn Thor getting a tattoo. I'm more likely to find a man tomorrow than Glenn Thor is gonna get a tattoo. Oh, we're, about, we're almost done, you're shading now. Yeah. See, quick and easy. How come your and Hunter's tattoo don't match? Cause Hunter wanted to put an anchor on his and I'm just going for simplicity. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> well, I don't think it's a family tattoo if they don't match. They do match. They do match, though, Dad. They do match. He's trying to cling on to anything to make this make sense. <laughs> yeah. It also makes it a family tattoo because we got it as a family. Yes. <laughs> as a family. Now, Jamie's talking up now. She can't, and she didn't want anyone to get one. <laughs> She's like, we are going. I'm scared. <laughs> Is it too early to back out? Too late to back out. <laughs> well, it's definitely too late now. It is. If I have to tie her to the chair, she's getting it. Mom! <laughs> I am terrified of needles. My mama still comes with me to the doctor to get a shot, so I don't know how I'm gonna get through this one. <laughs> mama, I don't think I can do this. Yes, she can. Just don't look. Here. You're Are okay. you seriously? Mm-hmm. No, you're fine. <sighs> this is gonna be my last it's a, tattoo. It's a pain. Oh. I don't even Girl. know. Girl! You are hurting me way more squeezing my hand than this tattoo hurt. I'm being like protective aunt and like holding her hand. She's squeezing me so hard like she's in labor. It's actually comical, but I also like the opportunity to like support her in a kind of maternal sisterly way. Yay! I'm glad okay. now, I'm happy now, Good but Darren, I was really bad. You ready? No. Oh. Probably shouldn't let Angie do this by herself. I think you're right. What does that mean? I held Jamie's hand. You got here. Come, you can hold. There's a seat right over there. Come hold Angie's hand. It's come unoccupied. Hold, come hold your your daughter's hand. No. Ah! Oh my God! What are you doing? I'm gonna get a tattoo. Do it! Ah! Do it. Stop it! I knew it. He's doing it. He's gonna do it. Well, as I see Whitney and Hunter and Jamie all getting their tattoos, it becomes apparent to me that it will make more difference to the family that I join in and complete this family bond than to resist just because I don't like tattoos. So I'm gonna give in and get a tattoo. No, and I should be happy, but I'm pissed. <laughs> <laughs>
Dad almost disowned me for a tattoo this big, and then his new family. He, he's he's learning. He's growing. Yes. And I this is some granddaughter. And he's doing it on his arm. Yeah. Yeah. Dad has almost disowned me every time I've gotten a tattoo, which is like 14, 15 times. Are you not mad that his firstborn suddenly says, oh, well, let's get a tattoo, and then he just does it? Dad don't care about us. Dad, Dad is a new man now. Dad really is. You know? Angie and the rest of the family have breathed new life into this man. Yeah. Before we know it, he's going to be. Now I have a sleeve. Yeah. <gasps> he knows what a sleeve is. Yeah. Uh. GT. This is a full on transformation. This is GT right here. All right, go check it out in the mirror. Let's see it, Dad. Go look in the mirror. You gotta go look in the mirror at your first tattoo. Oh my God! <laughs> now that I got this tattoo, whenever they want to show off their tattoos to each other and to others, I get to join in. Whereas in, uh, if I had not gotten one, I'd have been ostracized. So I guess I'm part of the club now. Is awesome, like oh. it is. Like I brought, I I thought of this. Look at how much she wants to please and you, them. And you've done it. Like I cannot believe you got it done. Okay. <laughs> For us all to get the same tattoo is very meaningful to me. That everybody was willing to do it. I mean, how awesome is that? That they they actually did it. Like I can't believe it's happened. It's awesome. Come on, Dad. That's all right. <laughs> all right, say tattoo. Tattoo. tattoo.